Oh, well, hey, wait a second. Did I... No, no, no. Hold on. Uh, uh. Did I go out this door? Oh, wait. Yeah, this is the one that just leads outside, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. I forgot. I have a short memory. Thing up there? Nope. It's kind of cool, the shadow there. I'm not sure if that's actually from the... I don't think it's actually from that symbol there, but it's kind of interesting. It sounds like the eye. It'd be cool if you could, like, frob the eye in your inventory and he'd, like, say stuff about things. But nope. The eye has such a cool voice. I've said that before. Uh, it's... Anything here? Oh, right. The observatory. Okay. All right, so I guess we're going back down again. Maybe the other one with the ladder is the one I'm thinking of. God, I don't- I've no- I was so certain that the smelting room was in St. Tenor's just, just on that second floor there, but unless I just turned the wrong direction a bunch of times and just never noticed it, it isn't. So, it's bizarre. Hmm. It, uh, did I do that? Or was it already that way? I don't think I've been in this one yet. Kind of like that pipe there connecting it. It's cool. Kind of inconsistent, but cool. Oh, this one doesn't even have the... Most of the others have, like, the big thing. Well, like, they have, like, a cylinder there that has, like, a thing that spins to, like, pull the elevator up. Blah, blah, blah. I'm blabbing. Okay, come on. Faster, faster. I'm impatient. Are thou still poking around for a holy symbol? There might not be any to find any longer. Why dost thou not go to the factory and make one for thyself? I was trying, but I couldn't find the right room for it, and he doesn't vanish here. Yeah, so this clearly must be where on normal difficulty there is a holy symbol. Must be. God, I hate you. I Vanish. See if I care. Oh. Yeah, we're still poking around. Hmm. I wonder what this place is supposed to be. The Builder's Bathhouse. <laughs> Ooh, and it's also the only other toilet in the whole damn place. Although this one just... Yeah, look at that. It doesn't even go to any water or anything. You just have to... Someone, at, some poor sucker has to reach down there and scoop out all the turds. That'd be pretty awful. I don't know what that place is. I don't know where I am. I guess I'm going back to St. Tenor's because that's kind of exhausted all the places I thought to go. At least pretty much all the AI are done for. That's helpful, I guess. Here we are at the cloister again. So let's go back to St. Tenor's once more. Yeah, we're in St. Vale's there. We've been in St. Janelle's. We've been pretty much everywhere now. But where we, we haven't been where we have to be in St. Tenor's. I can't believe I can't find this. This is this should not be this difficult. I'm baffled. I'm gobsmacked. Is this... Wait, is this St. Tenor's? I forget. Uh, 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 nope. Janelle's. Okay, Tenors is over here. Oh, here. Here's St. Tenors. Yeah, here we go. Ah, come on. Alright. Now, if need be, I'll just cut from this point to where we need to be because, god damn, if I can... I just can't find that room. It should be so simple. So, oh, here it is! Here it is! I shot... Stop! I had to turn left. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for it taking so long. I really apologize. And even though it's been so long since someone's been here, look at this. It's still hot as hell. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got position the molds on the four pegs, push the left lever, close the mold, then the right lever, tip the cauldron, and then tip it back, then pull the left lever again, and presto! I really, really love that they added this, because this is, this is just like in Craig's Cleft, you know, when you saw the AI doing this themselves. So now you can pick your own thing, whatever you want. Hmm. What is this? Some kind of, like, fire poker or something? Okay, so there's the holy symbol. Here's a gear. Here's a key. Hmm. Interesting. So. 
that closes it. I'm pretty sure this is a kind of complicated scripting sequence, uh, scripted sequence, at least by Thief standards. So what happens if I just leave it too long? What happens if I don't do anything? Okay, it just does it itself. Okay. All right. I do like how those gears turn for it. <laughs> yeah, you really should have spawned that <laughs> that thing so that it would be actually you know in line. Wine cellar key. Why do I need that? I've already been in the wine cellar. What the hell is that for? Huh. Okay, whatever. Just get out of here. Don't want that. I want that. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is, but this is like a sword hilt, a door handle, and a gear, and they're not worth anything. So only two things here are important, and I don't even know how the wine cellar key is important in the first place. Since, once more, I was pretty certain that I've already been in the wine cellar and I managed that just fine without needing a key. So, don't know what's up with that. Oh, I didn't notice. Does this thing... No, that thing doesn't rotate. Because those can... Those have, like, a joint there so that can rotate back and forth, but it doesn't. You guys make sense because it's just telling you what temperature it is, and it's. Oh, now it did. So it did go back. You see that? Interesting. Whatever. So here's my holy symbol. Finally. <sighs> well, I'll see you at that lunar pool. And here we are. Back at the lunar pool. Pool. Ye olde lunar pool. It's magic! Yay! Apparently a blessing causes it to be painted. Interesting. Well, I wish I had a blessed lunar pool and I could drop my you know, action figurines and stuff in there and then they get a nice coat. Oh well. Alas. So, I'll meet you when we get back to good old brother Murus in the cloister. Excellent. With that holy symbol, thou art truly a novice of the order. Yay. I see that thou hast all of the items we need to perform the ritual of consecration. Meet me at my grave in the cemetery. Sounds weird, like he should have kept talking there, but he just cut himself off. Meet me at my grave at the cemetery. <laughs> Whatever. So that's why I need the cemetery key, so I can get in there. Here's St. Yours. Yeah, so there are two other things that I needed that I got on my own there, as you saw. I needed the candle and the prayer book. And it just so happened that I found them and picked them up before I needed to, so, you know, why not? But if I hadn't, then he would have been like, you know, oh, go get the prayer book, it's in the library, because you need it. And then, once you got that for him, he'd be like, oh, you need a candle, you can not use mine, but I can't remember where I left it. For some reason, I was sitting on top the shed in the garden or some, something, and I just don't friggin' know why. I guess I was sitting there strangely counting my loot, because there was a bag of gold there, so whatever. Come on, I know I have the cemetery key. Here we go. Open them both. Yeah, I don't know why those aren't linked. They should be. Maybe it's just to make it more difficult, because you have to do it twice. I don't know. Oh, god damn it! I really like the des I really like the design of the cemetery, though. I like how it's... How the ground is so uneven, and all these tombstones are leaning different directions and stuff. It's really cool. I like it. It's well done. Nothing's more boring than a, you know, properly straight and flat cemetery. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Some... Here lies brother Martello. Does he? I'm pretty sure he doesn't. We found that body, didn't we? Yeah, so why does he have a tombstone? Why does he have a tombstone and a grave dug, but he's not in it? That's weird. I just want to get rid of these guys because I don't want them to bother me. Leave me alone! Yeah, just go away. This is just an object. So there's nothing inside of it. So I think it is. Maybe it's not an object, but uh... Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing inside of it. It's just a mausoleum or whatever. Here's another one for Brother Renault. Oh, well. Interesting, because we found their bodies. Hmm. Very interesting. 
Here's brother Miras. He actually got buried. Lucky you. Let us begin, my friend. Wave the rosary over my tombstone. Well, I don't know how to wave something over something in this game, so is it okay if I just frob it on your tombstone? I hope that that's sufficient. Now place the candle on my tombstone. Okay. I don't know why it has to be this candle. You're, I saw a different candle before. Remember the one I was like, hey, I wish I could put this on the skull. But apparently that candle is not the right candle. Read the prayer of consecration. That looks ridiculous. I don't even have to light the candle for some reason. Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose of having a candle there? <laughs> apparently the master builder looks kindly on, on cylindrical globs of wax sitting atop carved stones. You know, he very much favors globs of wax. Oh, I have to use it here. Oh, Master Builder, we ask thee to bless our brother who hath died in thy service. Forgive him the transgressions of his living days and look with favor on his works in thy name. Plum and plain, fire and forge, purify his spirit and draw from him all which does not meet thy plan. Take him to serve with thee in thy home where he may rest in peace eternal. Touch my tombstone with the holy symbol. Yeah. Maybe it's just me, but I like to imagine that Garrett's got kind of a sarcastic tone while he's reading that prayer book. Maybe it's just me, and it's just, you know, the way the voice is, but I kind of always imagine he's kind of got like this, oh, this is stupid kind of tone to him. Maybe it's just me, though. Donk. At last, my prayers have been answered. My soul is finally free. Acolyte, thou hast saved me from eternal unrest. But I need thee to help my friends from life as well. I've prepared their final resting places for them, but I need thee to place their bodies in their graves. The first is Brother Renault. He died in the cellar of the cathedral. A uh, Renault. Please, go get his body and place it in his grave. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, it vanishes. Well, we've got those bodies all ready to go back at the chapel. I'm curious about something. If this is a blessed holy symbol, then what happens if I... Oh, come on. If it's blessed, it should totally destroy this guy on touch. Come on. Lame. Doesn't actually have a holy stim. It's not blessed. That's BS. Okay. <laughs> you probably... Most people probably don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry about that. Anyway. Let's go get them bodies. 